today's subject is pharmaceutics 2 and chapter number 4 is solidosis form and subtopic is dispensing of powders that is dispensing of powders involved in the special problems in last lecture we have to see the problems that is <coughs> the first is volatile substances special problems involving with the volatile substances then second hygroscopic substances and third is the deliquescent substances then in this lecture we have to see the fourth special problems which are arises during the dispensing of powder that is efflorescent powders then what is meant by efflorescent the efflorescent are the substances of solid that that undergo the spontaneous loss of water from their hydrated solid and these efflorescent substances do not absorb water vapor and does not undergo into the solution form these are present in the crystalline substances these are called as efflorescent substances then what is efflorescent powders the sum crystalline substances liberate water of crystallization wholly means complete or partially or exposure to humid atmosphere or during pressurization and thus become wet or liquefied this is called as the efflorescent powders means efflorescent substances are the crystalline nature these are the crystalline substances that liberate water of crystallization means hydrate the water from the hydrated salts loss of water crystallization only means complete or partially or exposure to the humid atmospheric conditions or during pressurization and thus become wet or liquefied it becomes wet or liquefied because it the loss of water from its hydrated salts because of the exposure to humid atmosphere or during pressurization it is called as efflorescent substances then what is the example of efflorescent powder that is caffeine citric acid ferrous sulfate etc this is the examples of efflorescent powders then how to overcome this difficulty to dispensing the efflorescent powder then this difficulty may be overcome by using either corresponding anhydrous salt anhydrous salt means anhydrous means it does not contains the water no contains water corresponding overcome by using either corresponding anhydrous salt or an inert substances means addition of either anhydrous salt or inert substances may be mixed with efflorescent substances before incorporating with the other ingredients this is important before incorporation with the other ingredients means what is the prevention method means this difficulty means dispensing of the efflorescent powder we have to use or add either anhydrous salt or inert substances may be mixed with the efflorescent efflorescent substance before incorporating with the other ingredients means this difficulty overcome by either we have to add the anhydrous salt or inert substances with the efflorescent substance efflorescent powders before incorporating with other ingredients this is called as efflorescent powders the next fifth problem we have to see the dispensing of powder in one special special problem that is eutetic mixtures eutetic mixture we have to see what is eutetic mixtures when two or more substances are mixed together they liquefy due to the formation of formation of compound which has a lower melting point than the individual substance such substances are called as eutetic substances it is simply means that when two or more substances are mixed together they liquefy due to the formation of a new compound which has a lower melting point than the individual substances such substances are called as eutetic mixture this is important because this has a lower melting point than individual substances therefore they liquefy due to the formation of compound which has a lower melting point than the individual substances such substances are called as eutetic mixture then what is the example the best example is for example camphor then menthol then thymol phenol salol aspirin phenacetin chloral hydrate etc 
means when two or more substances are mixed together, they liquefy due to the formation of a new compound which has a lower melting point than the individual substances. That comes called a genetic mixture and examples are camphor, benmenthol, thymol, phenol, salol, aspirin, phenacetin, chloral hydrate, etc. Then, what is the dispensing method of the uric mixtures or uretic powders? These substances can be dispensed by two methods. Dispensed by two methods. The first method is dispense separate cells. Means the injured powder can be separately packed. Dispense a separate set of powders with direction that one set of each kind shall be taken as a dose. Means this problem, uretic mixture of problem arises because when two or more substances are mixed together. Therefore, we have to dispense. The first method of dispensing is dispense a separate set, means single single sets of powders with direction that one set of each kind shall be taken as a dose. Means the powder cannot be mixed, it is taken separately as a dose. And it is separately packed as a set of powders with the direction that one set of each kind shall be taken as a dose. This is the first method of dispensing of uric mixture. And what is the second method? We have to use the absorbent. Absorbent which absorbs the moisture. Then second method is an equal amount of any inert absorbent. It is called as inert. It has no action. Only to absorb the moisture. We have to add the inert absorbent like for example Magnesium carbonate, light magnesium oxide, kaolin, starch, lactose, calcium phosphate, etc., may be mixed with uric substances. Means these inner absorbents are mixed with these uric substances and then blended together. Lightly blend means mix with the spatula on the sheet of paper. And this is important, it is blended lightly, no pressure should be applied, only to mix lightly. It means mixing of the uric mixture with the inner absorbent with the equal amount and then blend it together lightly with, with a spatula on the sheet of paper. This is the second method. When in addition of addition to liquefied substances that is uric mixtures, other ingredients are also present in the prescription. Then the liquid liquefiable substances should be first be transurated together to form a uric mixture. Means in this prescription, the uric substances are present, they are first triturated, triturated and should be first triturated together to form a uric mixture. Then the remaining ingredients of the prescription are incorporated and mixed together. Then first in this prescription, the prescription present uric substances are mixed together and it is triturated. Then other ingredients are added and in this the equal amount of absorbents are added. Then this absorbent, inert absorbent are absorbs the liquid from the uretic mixture and which is converted into the free flowing powder to dispense this problem of uretic mixtures. So this is first method you have to dispense the separate set of powders and second method is you have to add the equal amount of inert absorbent in uretic to absorb the moisture and induce the free flowing powder for dispensing of the sets of powder. Then in this lecture we have to see the absorbent powders and second is the uretic mixture. Then we have to see the example of uretic mixture. That example is dispense 50 gram of the following insufflation. Insufflations are used with the apparatus insufflators are able to choose the for example dispense 50 gram of following insufflations then Rx prescription is menthol then camphor then ammonium chloride and light magnesium carbonate these are the uric mixtures then along with the absorbent light magnesium carbonate and we can insufflations then direction to be to be used as directed. And then what is the method in this question? You have to see the menthol, camphor, and ammonium chloride are the unit mixture which are present in it. And 
CO2 also and the light magnesium carbonate. This is the inert absorbent. Then direction to be used as directed. And what is the method? Separately powder each ingredient and weigh the required quantity of menthol, camphor, and ammonium chloride. Means the separately powder of each ingredient and weigh the required quantity of first is menthol, second is camphor, and third is ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride and mix them in ascending order of their weights. Ascending order means smallest to largest weight. In a mortar to form a liquid means you take mixture and add light magnesium carbonate is used as a inert absorbent which absorbs the moisture from it. To make a free flowing powder and pass through the sieve number 85, number 85 number sieve and dispense the powder in an airtight container. So this is the example of eutetic mixture.